Oh, we are stressed. <laughs> okay, I am at the Dublin port. I am queuing up right now to get on my Irish Ferries journey from Dublin to Hollyhead for my Formula Woman Assessment Day. Um, bit of a panic this morning. Realised that I needed to be here earlier than I thought, so a um, bit of a rush, but we are here. We are in good time um, and very excited to, to actually get this journey properly started. Also, it just goes to show that I haven't traveled for over a year and a half because I panicked this morning about the fact that my um, ferry booking confirmation email said last boarding an hour before um, departure time. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I have to be there an hour before here we are 45 minutes before sailing and sure there's people still arriving in and no sign of moving so you know before when I was traveling all the time I would have like known the exact time to rock up not like calling it you know close or cutting it fine but I need to get back into the swing of this Apologies in advance for the lighting in this room. I know it is far from ideal, but here we are. We correct it and edit, it's all good. Um, I did not film when I got to Wales yesterday. I was tired and hungry, primarily. So I just went and grabbed some food, got myself settled in and did some last minute kind of revision for the on track assessment today. Um, up bright and early this morning. My session doesn't start until 11 is my sign on time. So just finished getting ready, gonna pack my bag for the track and hopefully grab some coffee on the way. Very low on coffee for the last 24 hours and it's starting to tell. So um, hopefully gonna grab something on the way. Definitely starting to feel a little, a little bit nervous now. I got some great advice though from two of the girls, uh, two of the Irish girls that had their assessment yesterday and they said that it goes really quick so just make sure that you enjoy it and try not to get too bogged down in the seriousness of it and you know remember that you're there because it's a kind of a once in a lifetime experience. So definitely good advice, will do my absolute best to remember that today and try not to let the nerves get the better of me. And yeah, just kind of looking forward to meeting people as well. I know I've said this all the way along, but especially not being based in the UK, I think definitely we obviously haven't had the chance to go to some of the events that the folks here have. And regardless of, you know, the actual activity that they did. I think the best thing that they probably got out of that was definitely community building. So looking forward to kind of getting involved in that aspect of the process as well, because it's been kind of just um, our Irish, Irish applicants WhatsApp group until now. So fingers crossed, I'll get to meet a bunch of people today. I'm not 100% sure yet exactly how many people are in my assessment group, but I believe the groups yesterday were about 50 each. So I feel like that's a relatively manageable number that you could kind of have a decent chat with a couple of people during the day. Um, obviously there's, there's a whole bunch of elements to the assessment, so I'm not sure how much downtime exactly we're gonna have, but fingers crossed, I get to have a few good chats um, nonetheless. And yeah, I have to say, um, Hollyhead and just kind of this area of Wales I hadn't been to previously but when I settled in my room yesterday evening I went down to the beach and there was just the most gorgeous sunset I'll actually put a video of it in here for you all to see because it was just stunning and such a fabulous welcome and yeah fingers crossed that it stays dry today I think it is supposed to be dry mostly for today um so I do hope that stays the case, although 
I talked about before in my Mondello vlog, it did rain there and it was kind of good to get some practice in the wet just to see, you know, how the car handles and everything. So not necessarily worried, but I think just even for the logistics and if there's any, you know, not hanging around, but if there's any kind of downtime where you are outside, it would obviously be nice for it not to be raining. <laughs> so hopefully it stays dry for us. And unfortunately I won't be able to take you along with me um, there will be TV cameras filming, so we are not able to film on any of our personal devices, but I will absolutely do a roundup probably this evening when I get back from the track and have, um, have kind of calmed down from the excitement of the day. So yeah, here we go. I'm back. And no, I did not film when I got back from my assessment day. I was exhausted, let's be honest. I, anyone that was there will testify um, <laughs> that after the full day of exercises and assessments, there was uh, a lot of tired bodies. So here we are, I'm back home in Cork. It's a couple of days later and I feel like it's kind of good that I didn't record when I got back straight away because I think I've had a chance to digest the whole experience properly now. So. There is definitely some stuff that I can't talk about. Um, I have been asked, we've been asked not to talk about. Um, we were also asked not to bring our phones in to record any of um, what was going on because there is a, a TV kind of element to this. So won't be able to tell you everything about it, but we'll definitely try my best to give you a sort of an overview of how I found the experience from my point of view at the very least. So I'm happy to chat through some of the bits of the assessment that Formula Woman themselves have either posted about or reposted some of the other girls' um, content on Instagram and things like that about it. So the fitness one, for example, I know that um, a bunch of us had posted about that and it was definitely challenging and I think it was a good test of, you know, a really quick but effective test of your overall stamina like upper body strength lower body strength it wasn't i wouldn't say that it was like particularly in intensive on any of them but it was just a really compressed way of figuring out okay if we throw this at you like how do you react um there was also we were being photographed while going through some of the exercises so it's definitely you kind of like you're focused entirely on the exercise that you're doing but it's also like oh <laughs> there's someone like taking my picture um so definitely something to adapt to as well and something that i'm assuming most of us are not used to from our normal exercise routines um and i will say the the car so the car piece of the assessment for, for me came at the end of the day we were all on sort of like these rotating schedules and I would have loved more time in the car. Just putting that out there. I would have loved more time in the car and I think everyone would. It's, um, I think given that it's sort of the biggest part of the assessment and the biggest draw for people that have applied, it would have been amazing. With that being said, there are so many people to get through and they can't give everyone like 30 minutes in the vehicle. So um, appreciate that as well. And I will say the, f the instructors were fantastic. Um, all female, all really, interesting inspiring racers and they were just fantastic and so lovely like it's not like your driving test where they're super intimidating and they're in the car with you being like you know kind of totting <laughs> totting off to the side they were so lovely and really helpful and really encouraging and i think you know we all appreciated that given that this was for most of us the first time that we kind of done anything of this sort and also the race suits were really, really cool. So the Formula Woman branded race suits were awesome. Uh, a few of us did manage to get a snap of ourselves in those. And you can see that in my thumbnail for this video. Loved them. I'm really, really hoping that at some point we get to like pick a size and just keep one. That would be amazing. Now for my favorite part of the whole experience. So I said all along that I couldn't wait to get to the on-track assessment to meet other applicants and that has been my favorite part in reality as well uh it was just brilliant it was just so nice to be amongst that number of women who were sharing this common interest with me and 
some of the stories for you know reasons as to why the girls had applied were so inspiring and I also you know even just during lunch chatting heard so many stories of female owned businesses, female forward businesses, you know folks that were branch managers of you know companies that are normally really male dominated. I think it was just so energizing and awesome frankly to be in a room and on the track with that many inspiring women and I I know everyone can't make it but I think truly the community aspect of it has been the biggest benefit for everyone across the board and there was a genuine sense of community around the track like it wasn't it wasn't like weirdly competitive or you know combative or anything like that everyone was having a laugh getting through each of the assessments together like chatting in between and it was really really my favorite part of the whole thing and i would hope that you know even if i don't make it through to the next stage that i can keep you know those some of those connections as well and hopefully attend you know more um just more kind of formula woman events as well once travel I suppose becomes a bit more normalized again for everyone so you're probably wondering at this point about next steps and we did find out that we'll get kind of the result of our on-track assessment in sort of like Christmas time so obviously that's it's quite a while away for those of us that did our assessment last weekend but the reason for that being that there are tons of other assessments taking place all the way through November including um, those in other countries as well so I think you know the it, the number is going to be whittled down pretty significantly but I think again there's still a bunch of other stuff that you can attend um you know Graham did the the closing statement and kind of mentioned that they were going to have a, a couple more events in the pipeline even if you'd already done your assessment uh, so that you kind of keep connected and stuff like that so you never know what will come of that. I am certainly hoping to get all the Irish applicants together for karting or something of that nature. Um, we're not all based in the same place, so we'll see what we can manage with that. But definitely really, really excited to keep exploring this community and keep forming connections. And also excited to see what I end up doing with this channel because a lot of my content has obviously been very Formula Woman focused because that was kind of the main goal for the channel from the beginning. But with there being sort of this pause in the process now, let's see, let's see what I can do to get creative around it. So hopefully you'll stick around. Please do subscribe if you're interested in continuing to follow my journey and I will see you in the next video.